Radio 2 on the BBC Sounds app on your smart speaker, 88 to 91 FM. We're the BBC News at 11 o'clock. This is Jason Kay. The Royal College of Nursing Union has urged the government to return to pay talks ahead of a 28-hour strike in England. The walkout will begin at 8 o'clock this evening. The strike will be the first by the RCN to affect intensive care units. The Health Secretary, Steve Barclay, has expressed disappointment over the escalation of the industrial action. The Chief Executive of East Suffolk and North Essex NHS Foundation Trust, Nick Hume, says contingency plans are in place. There's no doubt that there will be significant disruption. We are working on bare minimum of nursing staff, but clearly they will be supported by additional medical staff, additional therapy staff. My biggest concern is in ITU, very specialist nursing skills, which can't really be matched by anybody else. So we are looking at probably half the levels we'd normally have. Rail unions have been accused by the Transport Secretary Mark Harper of cynically targeting the Eurovision Song Contest by staging strikes over pay to coincide with the event. He said the RMT and ASLEF ought to remember that Liverpool staging the contest on behalf of Ukraine. The RMT said it had been left with no alternative but to strike. The government says Britons who've chosen not to flee fighting in Sudan will still be able to access consular support. A team from the UK is based at Port Sudan on the Red Sea. The UK ended its evacuation flights overnight, having rescued almost 1,900 people. All those watching the coronation next Saturday, including at home on TV, are being invited to cry out and swear allegiance to the king. The homage of the people replaces the homage of peers, in which a long line of hereditary lords and ladies would make a pledge to the monarch in person. Lord Soames, a conservative peer and friend of the king, says even those who are sceptical about the royals will struggle not to get involved. I think people will be surprised at how they're swept along on this extraordinary bywave of ceremony and music, magnificence, which we haven't seen in this country since the coronation, really, of the, of the last Queen. Research suggests that interest in learning the Cornish language increased during the pandemic. The University of Exeter says the boost was because of more online classes and materials. The researchers believe a new Cornish language GCSE might now be possible. In snooker, Mark Selby says he'll need to beat one of the greatest talents in Luca Brassel to win the World Championship title. The final gets underway at the Crucible Theatre in Sheffield in two hours' time, with the winner being the first at 18 frames. Brassel was asked whether he'd thought about lifting the trophy. I can only start thinking about it once I could close to 18 frames, but if that would happen, I don't know, it would be just crazy for snooker in Belgium and Europe and yeah just for myself would be something yeah I could never have dreamed of. Luca Bracel ending the BBC News at three minutes past eleven. Thank you Jason. Thank you Steve for a lovely show as always my lovely man. Michael Ball. Oh here she comes. Information. Listen live on the BBC Sounds app. Good advice. BBC. 